Hi, today we're going to be talking about how to integrate new relic monitoring into the JFrog platform. More specifically, we're going to start off with simply Artifactory, but you can also attach it to other components uh, such as X-Ray. And in this case, what we're going to first thing we're going to do is, is assume that you're already a JFrog customer. In this case, I have my instance running. Uh, just so you know, for this current integration, that it needs to be a self-hosted version. So we are, are going to go ahead and integrate this version that I'm running currently right now. Um, in this case, uh, you know, I have it immediately opened up to my profile because there are going to be some things that I'm going to need from here. But to get started, once you've actually got Artifactory running in your own environment, you can go ahead and look up our, you know, our dashboard a couple of different ways. You can either go into the New Relic site and actually just type in JFrog, and that will bring you to the actual integration point here where we can give you some information about what we can do and show you that there are two dashboards available, JFrog Artifactory and JFrog X-Ray. We also have links in here down to also our GitHub project, which we will be uh, utilizing today. So here's all the information information right here. We also can go in if we wanted to and actually say go create dashboard, look at the pre-built dashboards, type in once again JFrog. Uh, that will actually go ahead and bring you to either one, uh, either JFrog X-Ray or Artifactory. In this case, we are going to go to Artifactory. We're going to go select our account in which we're going to use this. And then we will go ahead and see the actual installation documentation. Uh, once again, if we click on here, it will bring us back to the same GitHub page, uh, which we we're using before. So let's go ahead and let's hit done. And let's go ahead and we're going to go create the dashboard. You can go ahead and view your dashboard when you're ready. Uh, but then let's go ahead and let's go look at the instructions. So first of all, what you're going to go ahead and do is make sure, like as I stated, uh, that you do have a uh, new Relic uh, account and you do have a JFrog platform already installed. Uh, please follow the instructions for Fluent D, which is the way we're going to be doing the actual log transport itself. Um, I currently right now have gone through all these steps and I have prepared. And then I'm going to go over and actually go to my instance here. And I'm going to actually go ahead and download um, all the appropriate files that I need. So if we go to the top here, I'll just go ahead and I'll just copy this URL. I'll close this. I'm going to go ahead and do a git clone. Get clone. Put that in. Uh, it's going to go ahead and connect to it. And if you go ahead and I look and I pulled it down, I am going to go into, I'm going to log into where it says log analytics for new relic. If you do a quick LS LA here, you can see that we have them for distribution, mission control, Nginx, pipelines, um, artifactory is RT. X-ray, and then we also have the, the demo config. Uh, in this case, we are going to be utilizing the actual components here around uh, you know, the actual JFrog platform. So uh, you can either use Docker if you're using a Docker container. Uh, you can also, if you're deploying the same Kubernetes with Helm, you can go ahead and do that. Um, our installation is going to be a little bit more straightforward uh, than that. We're actually going to go ahead and actually just do a straight installation. Uh, so in this case, I am actually using the Fluent D um, conduit in this case. So let's go ahead and let's go VI Fluent D. And we're going to say in this case, uh, right? And we're going to say RT. Uh, we can go in here. And the first thing that we are going to go ahead and do, because I've actually already downloaded this Fluent D, is we're going to go ahead and do a search for the new relic uh, portion of this. So let's go ahead and if we just go ahead and say search, and when we search in this case, we are going to go ahead and look for um, New Relic, right? And that will bring us down here if you take a look. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and go back to our, our instance uh, you know, that we have here. Uh, we're going to go to our user. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and select our API key. Uh, you guys should all know how to do this anyway, if you've been utilizing it for a while. I've actually gone ahead and already created an ingest license. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and copy, not my ID, I'm going to copy my key. I'm going to go in and I'm going to change these keys over so that it can go ahead and utilize uh, my key here that I have for it. While I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing under license key. I'm going to go ahead and delete this license key here, and I am going to go ahead and plug it in. These are my new my new relic ones that I need to do. 
Now let's go back and look at the instructions again. And now we're gonna go ahead and let's go do a search for in this case, uh, I like to do a search for this, for this key right here, which is the JPD URL. And if you look in here, you can see that there's actually a block where we have source. And in this case, we are gonna go ahead and going to follow exactly what it says in the instructions. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize my version of my product. So I'm gonna grab the URL of my actual uh, instance. I'm gonna plug that in. In this case, I am gonna be going ahead and using my name. Uh, and if you look here, so my name is you know Bill F. I'm gonna go ahead and that's my user. Uh, my user happens to also be an OAuth user. I'm going to scroll down on the, you know, my profile here just to get to your profile. All you have to simply do is go select your username, hit edit profile. You'll see the API key. Copy the API key. Make sure you have permissions, though, um, when you are doing this. So then if I want to, I can go ahead and copy my API key. Now we're going to go ahead and generate a access token. Now to generate an access token, you're simply going to go into user management go into access token. We're gonna to go ahead and generate a new token. I'm gonna to call this one new relic. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is an admin, or I can go ahead and actually even say, you know, I can actually also say I'm an admin, but I'm also gonna do Bill Manning. And in this case, I am gonna select the service for Artifactory. I'm gonna generate the token. I'm gonna to click right here and generate the token. And once it's been generated, I can click on here and I can go in and paste my token in. And then I can save this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Like I said, these are things that if you've ever used it before, you can go ahead and say, I'm gonna copy my Fluent D config in this case, our config.rt. I'm gonna copy this over into my Etsy TD agent. That's where I actually have my version. I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick restart of my agent in this case. All right, so there we go. We should be all set now. And once I've actually gone ahead and done that, I should be able to go now, go back into my dashboard. I can now go in and select. And if you look here, you can see that the dashboard that we have is pretty comprehensive. You can see we're getting everything from disk space to utilization, also what volumes and data transfers are happening. You can get information on things like system metrics over time. You can also get application data. Um, how the application is performing, error rates, and things like that. You can also perform audits, and the audits in this case will bring you everything from things like username, uh, which IP addresses it came from, uh, you know, allowed and denied IP addresses. You can also get information on Docker for how many downloads that you've done and which repositories are actually consuming uh, the most. You can also see how the database is doing itself, and you can also see how many requests uh, by IP, by server, by action, and whatnot. And as I stated before, we also have the same thing available for our X-ray product. You can get everything from vulnerabilities, policies, rules, validation, uh, log information about how the you know how the service is doing, and also to additional things uh, like metrics on how you're doing in terms of memory, database connection, and whatnot. But this will actually give you the ability now to go in and monitor uh, Artifactory and X-Ray and other parts of the platform for our self-hosted versions. So you can use either Kubernetes, Docker, or others. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Uh -huh.